and welcome to our Friday edition of Be Well Together. This is amazing, and you're not even going to believe this. I know I can hardly believe it, but this brings us to the conclusion of week number 18 of Be Well Together. This is just amazing. Um, I want to personally thank you. Thank you for continuing to tune in and prioritizing your own well-being. So today, oh my goodness, today it is my great pleasure to introduce you to singer and songwriter Fatai. Um, Fatai, uh, hello, hi. Um, the world first took notice of Fatai as a semifinalist on the first season of The Voice in Australia. And since then, she has been touring sold out shows across Australia and New Zealand and the US. Her songs have received millions of views on YouTube and music has long been a part of her Tongan heritage and family culture and she started singing professionally with her family at the age of seven. So she is here to sing. We are going to have like just general artistry today on Be Well Together and just put us in the mood to start a really lovely weekend. And then, as if that is not good enough, at the end, we're going to get an assist with the Q&A today from Malay Polly, the regional VP for Windforce uh, San Francisco. So Windforce, for those of you who may not know, is our employee re resource group here in Salesforce that focuses on supporting and respecting and celebrating indigenous peoples and their cultures from all across the world. So we have a great show. Uh, Fatai, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us uh, today. And I can't wait to hear you sing. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Greetings from, as you can see, sunny Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel happy to be with you guys. This is great. This is great. So how would you like to spend our time? You're going to play some music. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about your history and who you are and how you came to be or... Sure, what I'll, you like I'll, to do? Um, I'll let the music speak for itself. Um, that sounds great. If that's okay. Works for so, me just great. Let's get stuck into it. <clears throat> uh, I think there's, this, there's always this tendency to uh, uh, kind of, you know, before this, this season, before covid season um life was you know super fast and going from a to b and you know just this really fast paced type of living um in the mind and externally uh and so i guess uh, these recent days have really forced me to slow down whatever that means whatever that looks like and i'm sure for everyone uh, that's tuning in right now so uh I feel a little bit more in touch with my breath and kind of the moment and being in the present, which I, I don't think anyone's naturally good at. So I extend the invitation to you and myself uh, to do whatever you need to do to uh, kind of slow down in the mind, in your body, uh, in your spirit all around and to receive whatever it is that uh, you need in this moment, <clears throat> whether it's love, rest, joy uh i need uh peace healing many things i'm not going to get emotional um but i this is my love letter to you i hope you feel seen i hope you feel um, not alone even when you might be alone <clears throat> Let love soak in your lungs today Breathe out toxins all the way Let love take over every membrane Tell every fear to fall away Oh, 
loved right where you are Don't need to conform mm, Let love heal you, let love heal you, let love heal you Let love free you, let love free you, let love free you is gorgeous beautiful just beautiful appreciate it thank you um shall i continue please <laughs> yes yes resounding yes <laughs> i i have um i have repaired this song it's called human uh and i think i shared it with windforce the last time i spent uh, time with you guys and uh this song is pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm going to let it explain itself to you. But if I had one more song to sing before I left this earth, it would be this one. And I have uh, discovered uh, my why, my purpose on, on this earth, and it's to um, 
share a message of worth to uh, humanity and to sing over humanity with worth and, um, and love um, and to also be able to give words of worth to people to prophetically sing over themselves uh, at concerts when they go about singing these original songs. So uh, this is human. I'm done pretending Oh, oh I'm gonna be Unashamed to throw away This mask that I've outgrown I'm so tired of trying I just want to breathe set me free from all the lies that I have ever known I forgot what I was capable of Got so drunk and I got so high on everyone's thoughts. See, I'm just very, 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 very human. I'm so done fighting. to feel like I belong. I am seen and heard and chosen. I'm so tired of holding on. I just want to scream. I was made for more than what you think I'm meant to be. I forgot what I was capable of. I got so drunk
going for time you got it you are all good you are all good i think one maybe two more would be great okay. i hope you're still with me family um all right i'm gonna change it up wasn't meant to do this one but just going with the vibes and uh, all this music I'm, I'm, I've been working on for, for some time now, but uh, now that I've been granted all this time, um, finally working on a project to put out there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you won't have to wait until a Zoom call to hear the music, but you'll have it in your own homes. And, uh, and this is one I, I'm recording, working on. I wrote this when I was standing in the middle of Times Square. Anyone been to Times Square? Yes. Yeah. That's a it. crazy place to write a song. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Uh, there is no place like New York City, especially Times Square. And so I remember standing in the middle of Times Square and really emptying my brain to just uh, look around me. And uh, I have this kind of, love not so love relationship with New York uh, it's obviously appealing to the eyes um, but super suffocating also I'm an introvert and as much space as much <laughs> uh, silence as possible is good for my soul but it really painted the picture for me about life how, how I was explaining at the start it's just it, it was it was really fast and uh, lots of distractions from from the important things in life but the song is called Fast, but ironically, it encourages us to slow down. So if you haven't been able to do that, I want to extend another invitation for you to do that. I, I want to gift you with three, three, four minutes to do that, however that looks like for you, in the mind, in the body, in the soul. Thank you, son. It's giving me, <laughs> the sun's giving me a break. <laughs> it's getting warm. <laughs> uh, and so... This is my gift to you. It's called Fast. If I can remember my own song, that would be great. Awesome. Sometimes I press fast forward on the remote Mind is ahead, head is a mind My heart and my soul abandoned behind No fight for the present time Fixed on the destination Blindfolded from the blessing of the present I'm standing and I'm bathing in So obvious in front of me In front of me it's like daily routine, no time 
don't you think shortcut quick fix no air to breathe fast call fast pace fast money fast race hostage by the hourglass who tick tick tock fast call fast pace fast money fast race tick tock tick don't nobody wanna slow it down slow it down slow it down you're flowing away too fast too fast too fast Ooh, yeah. sometimes i press rewind on the remote Mind of my money, money on my mind Slave to the fall, slave to the high Paralyzed on the bed of lie They tell me that I need to go faster Bits of mobile, that's more reckless Doesn't matter what's in front of me Cause it gets like Daily Routine No time To think Shortcut Quick fix By the hour, that's so tick tick tock. Boss, car, boss, pace, boss, money, boss, race. Tick tock, tick tock, tick. Boss, car, boss, pace, boss, money, boss, race. Hot stitch by the hour, that's so tick tick tock. Boss, car, boss, pace, boss, money, boss, race. Tick tock, tick. Don't nobody want to slow it down, no, slow it down, no, slow it down. You're flowing away too fast, too fast, too fast. Lord, give me awareness for the future. Forgiveness for the past, discernment for this moment, joy all the days of my life, every day of my life, give me direction for the future, forgiveness for the past. Discernment for this present joy, joy, all the days of my life, one day at a time, one day at a time, breathing in and out, breathing in and out, just one day at a time, one day at a time, breathing in and out, breathing in and out, one day at a time. Unbelievably awesome. Times Square has never sounded so good. 
Um, I, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to, because um, I really want you to be able to play one more song, but I want to make sure that Melee can get a couple of questions in. So maybe we could take a question or two and then you can play us one final song uh, to, to lead us into the weekend. Does that sound all right? Sounds good. All right. So Melee, Polly, I would love to have you bring in the voice of Wind Force and take advantage of this amazing guest we have. And what would you like to know? Absolutely. Uh, Fatai, it's such an honor to have you here. And um, being Tongan myself, um, you know, I know that we're very familiar with uh, Tongan hymns and how they sound and how amazing and grand they are. I was just wondering, um, you know, what influenced you or what, what inspires your music? Hmm. I think it's uh, really just my journey and my, my story and everything I've experienced from growing up singing in church. Uh, with my family that's where it started uh my family's uh, a musical family so i was raised on i was raised in the church and um around music so it you could say it's uh somewhat just Im embedded in me uh and that's not embedded that's not a word it was embedded in me <laughs> i'm making up words over here it's so hot the sun uh, so uh grew up around uh, kind of traditional Tongan music as well as old hymns and uh, and then I, I left school at 13 unexpectedly but that was a really big turning point in my life and I've, I've been doing music ever since 13 and I'm 25 now and uh, just simply traveling hearing stories uh, intentionally putting myself in different rooms and conversations and around different people to um, grasp and glean different sounds, uh, different um, cultures. Uh, and I think it just goes deeper than just listening to music. For a long time, I didn't listen to music. And I think that's uh, the major influence of my music is just really listening to what came out naturally as um as fatai and all that fatai encompasses as a um as uh, a weirdo as a uh, young tongan girl uh, first generation australian living in america traveling to europe and doing music and um, all the facets of fatai um a lot of years were spent um under the rock away from the world uh, tending to my craft uh, and then eventually I came out of the rock not long ago <laughs> and, uh, and learned from other people's experiences, perspectives and stories. And that's, that's been a, a joy. I realized, uh, being on my own, I eventually hit the ceiling with what I could glean. And so that, that I knew I had to glean from others. So I would say it's a culmination of different experiences from little to now, and I wouldn't have it any other way and and just with what wind force is all about respecting and celebrating indigenous uh, voices and cultures um that's that's been the journey is is diverse diversifying my world intentionally uh and kind of getting out outside of my own bubble to experience the world and what is a shared common ground between all of us who look different so in music and, and in life yeah that's awesome um it's it's just so amazing to have you here and and to have that tongan influence to others in the world and you know it, it helps us feel seen and it's right. uh, you know it's it's a phenomenal feeling to like see myself in you when you're performing or you know in all of your songs and your songwriting um, you know, growing up Tongan, humility is kind of one of our core values. Uh, and so I'm wondering, you know, that's, that's definitely something I, I take into account when I'm carrying myself. But um, for you, what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind with your music? Good question. Uh, just going back to something you said, which is really interesting. I, I didn't know the whole concept of um, seeing yourself on TV or anything uh, growing up. I, I didn't know that even that type of language until I moved to the States and uh, started befriending people who uh, of, of different cultures and races 
that didn't see themselves in the TV or the music industry and, and all that. Uh, and, and I guess for us, it was, I mean, of course we didn't see anyone. So we kind of had to like be the one to step up to it. Um, so I'm only, that's an interesting perspective. Interesting that you say that. Cause, um, I think, yeah, sometimes, uh, we have to be the one to, uh, be that role model, whether we like it or not for our community. Uh, and it's the first time I'm hearing it from you say it to me it's really um unique and special and uh, necessary so um I feel honored sis and same here as well I I'm so I'm so celebratory of you in in your um the influence that you have on your world around you and in uh, thank you course and like it's I, I feel um proud super proud of us so yeah yes, Kelly. i yeah. feel so full right now <laughs> this is so powerful and that's what brought me to win force and that's you know you being out there is really going to uh just it, it'll just extend a hand to those of us in in our culture who are looking for you know ways to creatively express ourselves and so um it's amazing for you to put yourself out there and that's what i look to do as well in in my position so i appreciate that yeah, you two, you two go. It's, it's a team effort. It's a team effort. And the more we can do to encourage each other in the spaces that we are, the better. Um, so, sorry, that was a side. Uh, I went off a bit. Uh, the question, uh, what legacy to leave behind? Um, really just love um, in in all the different ways and forms and shapes that that looks like for me, it's, it really is more than just the music. It's bigger than me. Um, it's, I think I've learnt, um, how much character means more than like what you do and how you act without anyone looking and without an audience. Uh, and so I think the legacy, it really comes down to the details of life, how you respond to um, someone in need on the street. That, that makes more, you know, that says more to me about a person than like achievement or anything. Um, and that's something I really thank my parents for is they've instilled in me the humility to care for others um, and to think of others before myself and, um, it's, it's what I've gleaned from uh, being raised in a Christian home and a Tongan like background. Uh, so the legacy is, is just to love well and to forgive well and to um, do better. And um, I think what I haven't seen done as well as it could be is probably just the passing of the baton from generation to generation if we're able to do that for the, the generation coming up and, and, and kind of seeing them well and raising them up um, better than the last, if we can just do it better and better every time, then I think it will, you know, we'll leave something that's not just impactful, but long lasting. Absolutely. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Thank you. It's so exciting to just kind of sit here and watch you guys have this moment. My heart is just ding, ding. Um, so let's do this. Um, we are at the hour. And so if somebody needs to log off, they, of course, always have that right to do so. But for those of us who um, maybe have a few more minutes, maybe you could play us one more tune before we head into our weekend uh, and then have some good down, rejuvenating and peaceful moments for ourselves. Awesome. I actually sung this at Windforce. <clears throat> I wake up in my bed and she lies down in the dirt. I walk to the kitchen to grab a glass of water. She cries out in thirst. I hop in the shower to clean off last night's events. 
struggling to throw a brand on my back. Yet she walks a mile barefoot with no warm clothes and covered in sand. She's my reflection in the mirror on the other side of the planet. Same age, same height, same look, same size, yet she's satisfied in him. She's got nothing left, no food, no clothes, no family to run home to. Same age, same height, same look, same size, but she's happier than me. She's got nothing left. Oh, oh I want to be like her when I grow up. Every day I walk on eggshells, worried about tomorrow. And she's laughing out, living life in love, just how it's supposed to be. I see her face on the silver screen. She reminds me to be happy and grateful. Cause there will always be somebody out there who's doing it harder. Yeah. Same look, same size, but she's happier than me. She's got nothing left, no food, no clothes, no family to run home to. Same age, same height, same look, same size, yet she's happier than me. Oh, I want to be like her when I grow up. Yes, I want be like her when I grow up, rich in love, rich in joy, oh, rich in something beyond this earth, rich in Thank you for sharing your many, many gifts with us today. What a joy. What a joy. Thank you, Thank you so, for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. So to all of you, may you have a happy and healthy weekend, and we will see you back here next week. Bye-bye.